It's Purse Sale Friday! Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. Happy Friday to everybody and today we have a lot, okay you guys? I have five pages of stuff for you guys. I have the clearance section, I have the regular thrifted purse section, I have shoes, I have clothing. Now you guys know I don't always pick up clothing, but when I can get a really good deal and I think that somebody can really love it, I will pick it up. Um, and I also have an America's <clears throat> Thrift Supply designer purse box that we're gonna open. All right, so that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be pausing the video a lot because I have to get up and reorganize everything. Um, so that doesn't affect you at all. But if you are interested in anything that you see in the video, I will put up the ordering instructions on the screen in a moment. Um, the most important thing is to just check that sold list down in the comment section. Um, you can scroll up on the video where you see everybody's comments and it will be the first comment there pinned. And you can go out of the video and come back in and it will update as I'm going, okay? Um, I will have a pending list. Everyone keeps asking me what pending means. It means pending payment. So now I'm trying to write pending payment so you know that I've sent out an invoice to somebody and I'm waiting for them to pay. But you can still email me and ask to be the backup on that item. I am putting strongly into effect my 48-hour payment policy, especially for purses. This is a very, um, you know sought after video and stuff like that. I try to get back to everybody as fast as I can. So that, that helps with checking the sold list. So you don't have to ask me if something's available. You'll be able to see it, it listed on the list or on the pending list. Um, so please, if you cannot pay immediately or at least within the 48 hours, please do not request an item. This goes for all my videos and all of my live sales because there is always somebody else that wants the item and is willing to pay immediately, but I'm getting caught up with waiting and stuff like that. Remember, this is my full-time career. This is my full-time business. I am an actual business uh, registered with the state of New York, so this is the only income that I have um, and I pay my own bills and everything like that. So please keep that in mind as well. Okay, so enough of that. Let's put up the ordering instructions so everyone knows how to place an order. Okay, again, sold list is super important. Pending payment means I sent out an invoice and I'm waiting on payment. You guys know if you've shopped with me before, the faster you pay, the faster I'm gonna get your item out to you. If you pay um, you know, today, that's awesome. I can get your item out to you tomorrow. Um, I usually, for the most part, do next day shipping. If the, the longest I'll ever wait is like two days for shipping, um, um, I always put the tracking number into PayPal. So I do not use PayPal to ship. Um, so that's why when you email me and you're a new customer, I need your mailing address because I do not see that until after you pay. So I need to calculate the shipping costs and I do that all on pirate ship. And then after I um, buy the label and get your tracking number, I manually put that into your PayPal invoice. And when I do that and hit enter, it says that PayPal sends you an email with that information. So every time I ship something out to you, you will get an email from PayPal with that information so that you can click the tracking number and it will take you to the tracking information. Um, if you don't get those emails, uh, you can go just go right back into the invoice, like the original invoice that I sent to you, and it will update with the tracking number at the at in right in the invoice. So you can click the tracking number. Um, if you go into the invoice that I had originally sent you, it will be there. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, clearance section, and the first one up is the Dooney and Burke crossbody. So this one, where is it? So this one is almost new, okay? So it is like a beige um, nylon, like fabric. It has the brown 
uh, leather crossbody strap. It does have a gold tone um, hardware and adjustable buckle. Um, so it has the front pockets that zip. You have your Dooney and Burke uh, leather logo right there. I mean, it's in perfect condition, except there's just a teeny bit of wear on each corner. Not wear, it's just like a little dirty spot. Okay, and then the interior on top, you have your bright red interior and then your um, serial number is over here. All right, so really great condition. Dooney and Burke crossbody, and I'm dropping this one to $40, okay, you guys? It's a $10 drop from last week. It's $40 on the Dooney and Burke crossbody. I'm actually gonna leave that one up here so it doesn't get dirty. Um, all right, so next up we had the Calvin Klein. So this one is so gorgeous. It's in excellent condition. It is all genuine leather. I might have to bring my... Uh, my camera down a little bit. I feel like I'm holding it up a little too high. Um, so this is genuine leather. It is red and black with silver tone hardware. Like I said, it is in excellent condition. You have the top handles and you also have the crossbody or shoulder strap that is adjustable and you have some gold, I mean some silver tone chain detail on the strap. There is no pockets on the outside but like I mentioned, it is in excellent condition with like hardly any wear on it whatsoever. You have the top zipper closure. And then inside is one compartment. All right, with your Calvin Klein and your zipper and your slips. So for the Calvin Klein red and black leather, we're going to drop this one down to $40 as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move this down a little bit and then closer, okay, so it might be, be better. Cause I had it um, completely like raised when I did the live auction because I was standing. All right, so Isabella Fiore. Um, this one is a beautiful red leather crossbody or shoulder strap. It does adjust with antique gold tone hardware. It is a cute little size, fits all your essentials. Um, it has the gold tone Isabella Fiore in the front. It's got some snake print. On the back, you have a zipper pocket. You have your hang tag. And this one, just like the Calvin Klein, is in excellent, excellent condition. You have the top zipper closure. Oh, bottom and corners are excellent. The interior is one section. Isabella Fiore with your zip and slips. So like I said, it is in excellent condition. You can either wear it this way or this way. So for the Isabella Fiore red leather, we're going to do this one, drop it down to $45. All right, now I can put this one there so it's not on the floor. All right, I still think I'm a little far. Jeez, sorry. Okay, <laughs> next up we're going to do the Nanette Lepore. So this one is faux leather, it is brown. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it, gold tone hardware. Again, this one is in excellent condition. Nanette Lepore on the front. Faux leather, excellent on the bottom and corners. You have a pocket in the back and on the front. And then your main compartment is zippered. And you have one section. There's one little spot right there. Nanette Lepore, zip and slips. So for the faux leather brown pebbled Nanette Lepore, Lepore we're going to do $20. That's it, 20 bucks, guys. Um, next up, we had the purple leather crossbody that did not have a um, brand on it. So it is a beautiful, supple, butter, pebble, I mean, um, purple leather. It has a long crossbody strap. And I'm pretty sure if you knot it, you can just make it shorter if you don't want it so, it so long. But it's got this really pretty like ruched top. Again, this is in excellent, excellent condition. No wear on the bottom and corners. It is a double magnet and zipper closure. 
And then the interior has your zipper and a slip over there. So really cute, great color for the fall, purple leather, ruched um, crossbody, and it's unbranded. We're dropping this one to $15, you guys. That's it, 15 bucks. All right, then we have um, the little Reed Crack Off. This is a luxury brand. It is a little wristlet, or you can use it, remove this and use it just as a wallet. It's black patent leather, Reed Crack Off right there. It is in really nice condition. It has gold tone hardware. And it has two um, zip around spots. The hardware is in excellent condition. The first section, you have some card slots. This is like a blush pink butter soft leather, you guys. And then the other side has some card slots or some um, coin slots, whichever. And then there's your branding there as well. So for the Reed Crack Off, we're going to drop this one to $20. All right, then we had the um, Soho London New York jewelry, jewelry travel case or makeup case. It's like a um, nylon type of fabric, kind of like cheetah print sort of velcro and undoes very long you have the little um hanger strap right there you have some mesh pockets here you have this spot you can put like makeup brushes if you want or toothbrushes or something like that and then you have a zip around mesh pocket there and then it all rolls back up and velcros closed so this one, um, we're gonna drop this one to only $5, you guys, okay? Five bucks. Then we had one purse from the Thread Up unboxing last week that is left, and that one is, I cleaned it up and it came out so nice, you guys. It's like a coral, okay, like a pink, pinky orange coral, Kate Spade gold tone hardware it is a crossbody or shoulder bag you can adjust it it is in actually really good condition it was just a little dirty so i cleaned it up with my trusty tubbo towels which i will link down in the description box these wipes literally take off almost anything cleans almost anything so um you have these little leather tassels it is a pebbled leather all right no pockets on the outside uh, there was a couple little dirty spots that wouldn't come clean, but as you can see, for the most part, it, it, it came out really, really nice. And then the, the strap is like awesome. The inside, really, really nice. There was just a couple little stains down at the bottom that wouldn't budge, but we have the spade with your zipper and slips, and you can see a couple little stains down there. But overall, really, really great condition, um, coral, Kate Spade, crossbody, shoulder bag, and we're dropping this one to $45. It's really, really, really pretty, you guys. Okay, that wraps up the clearance section. So we're gonna move on to the thrifted purse section. And remember when you guys email me to give me a timestamp and a description because sometimes your timestamps are incorrect. So at least with the description, it can kind of help me figure out what you're looking to purchase so that I can invoice you properly. All right, so we're gonna start with a Rebecca Mingoff. <clears throat> and this one is a little crossbody, or you could make it a shoulder bag. It's like a tan pebbled leather, more like a beige, beigey tan pebbled leather. You got a zipper pocket here in the front, silver tone hardware. Rebecca Minkoff right down here. Corner and bottoms are in really great condition. Um, the strap is adjustable, so it can be crossbody or um, shoulder. The top has a little tassel and a zipper closure. And then your interior has your Rebecca Minkoff there with a slip pocket just on the one side. That's the zipper. All right, so really great condition, little 
Rebecca Minkoff, and we're gonna do this one for $45. Then we have this beaut. Bring these ones down here. This one is so gorgeous. If you guys like the doctor bag satchel style handbags, this is for you and it's beautifully red. It is a Brooks Brothers leather handbag, gold tone hardware. It's like a it's like a roll, like a duffel bag satchel style uh, doctor bag. It is in really, really nice condition, you guys like really nice it has the top handles so it is not a shoulder bag it'll just be like a crook of the arm or a handbag um, and there are no um hooks for a longer strap but it is in beautiful condition it has a zipper closure on the top this one might be vintage i'm not sure or maybe close to it at least and then the inside is one compartment it's very large actually and then you have your Brooks Brothers right here with your zipper <clears throat> and then you have two slips here and that says genuine leather so a really really great condition black interior beautiful beautiful Brooks Brothers and we're gonna do this one for fifty dollars five zero absolutely stunning then we have a brown leather um, purse hand, uh, shoulder bag by Gianni Bernini. This is a beautiful, um, soft, like light brown tan leather shoulder bag. It has the quilted GBs on the front. The back is solid with a pocket. That is a tight snap. <laughs> All right, the front has a zipper pocket. And it has silver tone hardware with your little hang tag. The bottom and corners are in excellent condition. If anything, there is very, very, very minor wear. It's a longer double strap for the shoulder. Excellent condition. And then the inside, you have three sections. So we'll start with the back section and it is a snap closure. And you have your branding with your um, zipper pocket and then the middle section is zippered and there's no pockets in there and then the front section has your snap closure and you have a large slip pocket so lots of pockets on this one um, you have front pocket back pocket three sections on the inside so for the Gianni Bernini, we're going to do $40. It's a really nice one. Okay, then we have, we're going to turn the page. Oops, there we go. Uh, we're going to turn the page, and first up on this page is a purse by Osgood Marley. Um, this is actually a pretty expensive uh, purse brand. This one is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. Um, it is a black leather. <clears throat> okay, I think my camera is still too high for me. <laughs> um, black leather. It is soft leather. Like I said, silver tone hardware. It is adjustable, nice thick strap. Um, the front here has a zipper pocket. Or you can wear that to the front however you would like. And then your bottom and corners are perfectly fine. Very, very good condition. Now, the cool part about this bag is it has three compartments. Okay, so zippered section, snap section, zippered section. All right, so one side. Let me show it this way. See how it's kind of like crisscrossed? So the front side here is a zipper uh, compartment with nothing in it. Then you have the middle, which is a snap. And that has your slip pockets in it. And your branding. Okay. And then the other zippered section has no pockets. It is in really, really nice condition. 
uh, shoulder bag or crossbody with the crisscross um, closures and compartments. And this is Osgood Marley, and we're gonna do it for $48. Then we have a Dooney and Burke. This one is blue, so it's got the blue um, fabric with the DB and blue pebbled leather, okay? So this one is just a, sh a shoulder bag and you cannot adjust the strap. So if you need any, um, any measurements, just let me know. It has gold tone hardware. It is in really, really nice condition, you guys. It's kind of like a little bucket bag. Okay, really great corners and bottom. It does have the drawstring closure here on the front. And then the interior has a little bit of staining in that corner right there, but it's very light. So overall, really nice. Um, there's your zipper with the dooney. Uh, you have a key fob thing down there. You have a slip pocket there. And then your serial number is there. So we have the beautiful blue leather and fabric dooney and Burke. And we're going to do this one for 50, five zero. All right, then we have an Elliot Luca. This one is also, this one could be a shoulder bag. It'll kind of be like up in your armpit a little bit, but if that, you know, if you don't mind that, there you go. Otherwise, this is just a handbag, kind of like a little duffel satchel. Um, black leather, Elliot Luca. You have gold tone rings right here, and these are pockets. Okay back bottom and oh there's your elliot luca right there that's just a little mark i'm going to clean that off and your corners and bottom are in really great condition you have the elliot luca on all of your hardware up here as well the inside is a zipper closure and it's one compartment and this one has a red interior beautiful Elliot Luca right there. This one might be a little bit more on the vintage, vintage side because they don't have that bright yellow, I mean bright pink interior on the pocket and there are your slips. So really great condition. Um, shoulder bag, handbag, Elliot Luca, black leather, and we're gonna do this one for $45. Okay, I went a little lower because my arm is starting to hurt already. All right, so next up we have a beautiful purple leather shoulder bag, kind of like an evening bag by Antonio Malini. Beautiful leather, it's a very dark purple, um, probably like almost like a gray. It's probably like a gray purple, but more on the purple side. Little shoulder bag. You have a gunmetal hardware, Antonio Malini. All right, really, uh, you have a pocket on the back here. It is in really great condition, bottom and corners. You have the chain shoulder strap here. And then your interior, very clean. One section, and you have your branding with your zipper. All right, so super clean, Antonio Milani, dark purple leather shoulder bag. And we're gonna do this one for $35. <clears throat> Next up, we have a tan leather, almost like a chestnut tan leather bag by Persamon. Persamon? It says New York, made in Italy. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. The strap does not adjust, okay, you guys? It's pretty long. So definitely a crossbody or longer shoulder bag, and it's a smaller size, but it will fit a phone. Okay, I'll show you in a minute when I open it. Uh, really great condition. It, there's like very, very minimal wear on the corners. Overall, awesome. You have a back zippered pocket here, silver tone hardware. And then you open it by pressing this little button and pulling up. And then it also has a double snap closure. The interior has uh, your 
genuine leather little tag right there made in Italy with your zipper. Okay, no slips on the other side. All right, you're good to go. So for the persamon or persimmon, I thought it was really cute. And we're gonna do this one for $38. All right, next up we have a Vince Camuto. This one is a beige leather crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. It has gold tone hardware. Okay, beige leather, kind of again on the smaller side, but this one has a lot of pockets, you guys. So as you can see from the outside, there aren't any. You have your Vince Camuto right here in gold, uh, gold tone hardware. The bottom and corners are fine. There's just a little bit of wear right there on this corner, but the rest are okay. Now, that's what the inside look like. So it's zipper, snap compartment, zippered, snap compartment, zippered, okay? Got like a little filing cabinet here. So you're gonna open up one side. This is where you have your zipper pocket, all right? Then you're gonna open up this. It is a snap closure, nothing in there. Then you open up this one, okay, nothing in there. Then you have the snap section, <laughs> all right, nothing in there. And then you have the front zippered compartment and that has a slip pocket, all right? So for the beige leather Vince Camuto, we're gonna do this one for $40. Okay, then we have, let me bring all these guys closer. Closer, closer, closer. All right, so this one is so beautiful. This one is a Patricia Nash. It is the black and brown leather map crossbody or longer shoulder bag. It does have the adjustable silver tone hardware. Um, it is in beautiful condition. All right, it is a flap over. Let me get, all right, so it has um, a couple little fine scratches, but it's hard to notice with the way the bag is made. You have a pocket here on the back. The edges are all woven, like sewed. Bottom is really, really nice, and the corners. Strap is really great. You're gonna open this up like so. You have the um, suede right here. You have a pocket right here. And the inside is in amazing condition. You have your zipper pocket, your branding. Look how nice that is. Your little zipper pocket here, zipper section, card slots, slips. And again, you have this in the front here. And then again, you have the one in the back. So really great condition on this one. Um, I'm gonna ask $75, it is a beaut. I'll put you here. All right, then we have um, one, I'm, I think I'm finding these in like every color. So this is another vintage Anne Klein. This one is red, I've thrifted a green suede, a green leather, and now this is the red leather, all the same style. This one is probably in the best condition of all of them. Um, it has the Anne Klein Lion, this is all leather. It could be a crossbody or shoulder bag, the um, strap does not adjust. Gold tone hardware, you can remove the strap if you want it to be a clutch. Um, like I said, it's in really excellent condition. All right, and um, the inside is a zipper closure, and then the inside is also all leather, okay, you guys? And there's the zipper pocket, and this one, again, is Anne Klein for Calderon. Uh, it does have a zipper closure. I don't know if I said that. So for this Anne Klein red leather, and we're going to do this one for $40. Next up, we have a black and brown leather fossil. So this one is a little bit on the smaller side. It's like a, it's like a little tote. It is black leather with the um, 
brown leather trim. It's got a little bit of like the sewing detail right there, uh, woven detail. It is in really good condition, really great on the bottom and the corners. All right, it does have uh, silver tone hardware. It has the top handles, and then it does have a removable crossbody or shoulder strap, but it does not adjust. All right, and then your interior, you have three sections, middle being zippered. So the back section has no closure and no pockets. Then you have your middle compartment, which is zippered, and your main compartment. And that has all of the fossil everywhere, zipper. All right, zipper on one side, and then the front section, no closure, no pockets. So really cute on this one. This is a brown and black fossil leather, and we're gonna do this one for $42, $42. Then we have a Margot. So I love this brand. The leather is always so buttery. This one is a crossbody or shoulder bag. Um, silver tone hardware, you can adjust it. Black butter leather. Again, it's a little bit on the smaller side. Great for the essentials. Won't, won't kill your back, right? Really cute tassel on the front. Um, zipper pocket on the back. Really great condition on the corners and the bottom. Uh, the top is a zipper closure and you have one compartment on the inside. Okay, nice, nice. There's your Margo with your zipper and slips. It does look a little red down there. So you can see it looks a little red. So maybe a little stain. Margo, black leather crossbody, and we're gonna do this one for $35. Next up, we have the Jack Georges. So this one is a convertible. So you can wear it as a backpack. It is a beautiful brown leather. Or you can wear it as a shoulder bag or crossbody. Okay. So this one is a little bit larger, so it's probably best to wear it as a um, backpack. It's that gorgeous brown, like saddle leather, thick leather. You have a pocket on each side. All right, the back is like that comfort padding. Bottom and corners, there's your Jack George's. Ba uh, bottom and corners are really nice. This is the type of leather that is going to um, darken a little bit over time and darken a little bit with the oils on your hands. So if you see um, you know, spots that are a little darker than others, that's totally normal. So now to get in the bag, you open up like so. It is a uh, silver tone hardware. Okay, it's got little zippies on the side. And then your interior, you have your zipper pocket and some card slots. Very clean. Overall, excellent condition. This does have a uh, magnet on it. So for the Jack George's backpack convertible crossbody shoulder bag, <laughs> we're going to do $45. Okay. Starting to get all the fuzzies everywhere. All right. So I have a few um, Michael Kors and I have a few Kate Spade. So when you're emailing me, just making sure that, of course, you're checking the sold list, number one, but that you are giving me the correct timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking for so I can make sure to invoice you correctly, especially because I have two Michael Kors that are the same color, okay? So I did price them differently, um, you know, to try to eliminate that. I also have two other purses that are the same color. Um, so I just try to be as descriptive as possible with the correct timestamp, and then I'll get that in PayPal invoice over to you. Okay, so next up, so we're going to do the Michael Kors. So the first one is the Hamilton. So this is a brown leather um, and gold tone Michael Kors. It is. It does have top handles. It also has the shoulder strap, okay? Just a shoulder strap, 
It has the gold tone hardware on it. It is in really great condition. If you don't like the top handles, they lay down. So this one lays down. You can unbuckle this, lay this down, and then buckle it back up again. Um, it is, like I said, it's in excellent condition, bottom and corners, really, really great. You have three compartments in this one with the little flap over closure that buttons. So the back section, this is a very large purse and it is a little bit heavy. So just letting you guys know, um, you have your branding in there, slips, zipper pocket, then you have the middle section, which is zippered. And then you have the front section, which has your slips. The interior is very, very clean, as you can see. Overall, this bag is in gorgeous condition. It's very large and a little bit heavy. So this one, the Michael Kors Hamilton, $60, six zero. Put you down here. All right, then the other Michael Kors I have, so remember timestamps are important or specific um, uh, descriptions. So this one is also the same color. It's a brown, but this one is a pebbled leather. It is more of a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. You can adjust it, gold tone hardware. You have the MK on the side. It does have um, loops if you wanted like a shorter strap, but it does not come with it. This bag is in such good condition. So it's um, the same on both sides. The bottom and corners, really, really excellent condition. All right, and then like I said, it has the MK on the side over here. The, uh, there's one little side pocket. You can wear that to the front or the back for your keys or your phone. And then you open it up with the zipper uh, closure on top. And inside is one compartment, and it's very clean. There's your branding zip and slips, and more slips over there. All right, super nice condition. Michael Kors, and we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero, okay? Um, all right, let me grab the rest of these over here. And we will keep going. All right, so next up is a, oh, we're gonna flip the page. So it is a, um, oh, I have a, one more Michael Kors. I have this one. This one is also <laughs> stunning. Okay, so this one is a black leather Michael Kors. You have your hang tag here, gold tone hardware. It's kind of like a tote style. I would say it's a medium size. It has the top handles. It also has a crossbody or shoulder strap, gold tone hardware. This one is in like new condition. All right, everything is really great on it. This one also has three compartments. So the back, oh, and the whole purse can zipper closed. And then you have the back section here with your branding zip and slips. You have the middle, which is zippered. And then the front section has more slips. And it comes with the tag and the care instructions, okay? So I do think that this has never been worn or carried. So Michael Kors black leather, and we're gonna do this one for 60, six zero. All right, then we have a brand new with tag. Now remember, Christmas is on its way. The holidays are coming. Think gifts, um, things that are brand new with tag from your favorite resellers. You can get them for a deal because you're not gonna pay the sticker price, right? But the sticker will be there. So this is a Botkier backpack. I have sold this a few times. I think it's a really, I love the brand Botkier. It is, it's, it reminds me of Amy Kestenberg where it's just such quality, thick leathers and stuff like that, really um, trendy styles and everything. But this one is actually faux leather. It is a really cute backpack purse. It is new with the tag. 
You have the Batkier New York on the straps down here. Silver tone hardware, adjustable. It is um, new and in new condition, okay? There's no flaws. These are functioning pockets here. Um, but remember, it is faux leather. They did faux leather on this and a, and a couple of their totes. But the rest of them are genuine. So that's your zipper pocket there and nothing else inside. So brand new with tag, Botkier, black faux leather and nylon, new with tag, backpack purse. And we're going to do this one for $30, okay? Next up, we have an unbranded but beautiful black leather shoulder bag. This one is so cool. It almost reminds me of a Fendi with the embossed leather that kind of looks like F's. Um, it's very unique. It is just a shoulder bag. The leather is beautiful on it. You have two functioning pockets on the side here that are zippered. The back is plain. The bottom and corners are in excellent condition. I whoops, I did a really nice um, conditioning job on this one. The there is a little bit of wear on the gold tone hardware, but not too bad. Um, strap is in really great condition, and the interior is a zipper closure, and there is a little bit of wear on the zipper pulls as well. Just so you know. The inside is one section, there's your zipper, and there is a little bit of staining. There, that's more what it looks like. <laughs> a little bit of staining, more like fading. This might be a vintage bag. So I cleaned it, so there's got all the fuzzies in there. But I did clean it, everything is clean. All of my purses, shoes, clothing like that are, everything you can buy from this video has been disinfected, cleaned, wiped down. So whenever you receive it in the mail, it is good to go. All right, so for this unbranded, beautiful black leather shoulder bag, we are gonna do it for $40. It's so gorgeous. All right, then we have a super cute Steve Madden. Now I washed this, so I wanna make sure it's dry. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so this is a Steve Madden little crossbody or shoulder bag. It is uh, like a beigey tan color. You have this really cool like guitar strap um, strap that is adjustable. And it has the Steve Madden on the hooks here, adjustable and removable. It also has a chain handle, all silver tone. This is removable. You don't have to have this on the outside. Um, it can fit your chapstick or a lipstick or something like that in it, but probably not a phone. <laughs> um, it's got the quilted nylon and then the faux leather trim. It's in excellent condition. I'm going to open up the top here and then you have, okay, it just says Steve Madden right there. Steve Madden with your zipper and a slip pocket. So for the little cutie. Steve Madden crossbody shoulder bag handbag. We're gonna do this one for $25. All right, next up we have two Kate Spades. Uh, the first one up is a red Saffiano leather um, crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it, it has gold tone hardware. This one is in excellent condition. I don't know if it's ever been used. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Red Saffiano leather, beautiful condition, smaller size, and the um, top is zippered. You have one compartment on the inside, and it is white, and look at how gorgeous it is. You got your branding with your zipper. All right, and inside the zipper, you have your care card, care book. So for the red Saffiano leather um, Kate Spade, we're going to do this one for $48. The other Kate Spade is so gorgeous. I love this one. It is so structured that I didn't even need to stuff it. It is a black 
and white um, leather, kind of like satchel, super duper structured. You have the top handles and you also have the shoulder strap or crossbody. You can adjust it. It has gold tone hardware. It is in beautiful condition. Okay, straps, corner, bottom, everything is really great. Um, it is a zipper top, almost, it goes almost all the way around. The inside is really great. There's a little bit of staining like along the top up here, but it's really nothing serious. You have your zip branding and slips. So for the structured black and white Kate Spade leather, we're going to do $55. Let's put you right here. Um, oh my gosh, so this one might possibly be my favorite of the haul. I've never seen a furla this big before. I usually see the smaller furlas, uh, the little shoulder bags, but this one is a leather tote bag, shoulder bag. It is black pebbled leather. It is large, as you can see. You have the white stitching and it is in excellent condition, you guys. Like this bag, I can, <laughs> I almost kept it, but I don't need another bag. Um, it's beautiful pebbled leather, furla. It has, um, it's like a light gold tone. Oh, look, is that, does it still have the plastic on the front? I think it does. I think it does. I'm not gonna take it off, but I'm pretty sure the plastic is still on the front. Um, like I said, it's in phenomenal condition. Bottom, corners, everything is really great. Um, it has the shoulder, shoulder straps on the top or crook of the arm. Um, excellent condition on that as well. You have the snap closure on the top. And then the interior is all one compartment. Ugh. And the interior is all suede. So it's like the raw leather. So on this side, you have your branding with your flap. That's your zipper pocket. All right, and inside that pocket is your um, authenticity tag. See the suede? And then the bottom has the fabric furla, like the pocket. All right, excellent, excellent condition. Furla, leather, tote, love this one. Um, I'm gonna ask $90, okay guys, 90. Well worth it, it's gorgeous. Um, all right, let me bring these guys closer. Closer, darlings, closer. Closer, closer, even closer. I got my littles, they're all the way down there. Let me get those two. Whoops, I forgot one. Oh, jeez Louise, okay. Whew, I mean, it's like all the way down the other side. <laughs> all right, so next up, we're gonna do a black patent leather bag by Ivici. No, Envici. And VC, I don't know, Italy. This reminds me of the Arcadia bags. This one is in beautiful condition. I love it. It's spelled I-N-V-E-C-E. -E, and it's all around this little thing here. Gold tone. Black patent leather with red stitching, red and white stitching. It is a larger bag, satchel. Um, you have the top handles and you also have the removable shoulder strap. It's adjustable, but I don't really think that this could be crossbody. Um, the strap might be a little short for that, but um, it is in really great condition. Bottom and corners, really, really nice. Back and front, super nice. Handles, awesome. Hardware, awesome. Zipper closure, and it also says it on the zippers. And the interior is one large section and very clean. Okay, there you go. Um, branding, it is genuine patent leather. 
uh, zipper slips. Very clean. So, in Vici, Italy, fifty dollars, five zero. Next up, this one's super cute. So this one's by a brand named Cara, C-A-R-A-A, -A, and it is the cutest thing. It is a thick black pebbled leather um, handbag, or it comes with the shoulder strap that is adjustable, okay? It's like a nylon, and then the strap has like the matching pebbled leather. Um, you can remove it if you don't want it. And the best part is there's a pocket here in the back. You can make this a backpack as well. All right, so very cool. It is a convertible purse. Beautiful condition, gold, uh, gold tone hardware. See, here's the straps to the loops to uh, um, attach the backpack straps. <laughs> Beautiful condition, gold tone hardware. It kind of looks like a little present. Um, this doesn't do anything. This just opens up this strap here like so. Um, so I would just leave that there but it does say Cara all over that, or Cara, however you wanna pronounce it. Don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> so then the interior, you have one compartment that's zippered. Beautiful interior. There's your Cara with your zipper and your slips. Very, very clean, you have a key fob down there. The only thing, this bag has some weight to it, okay? So just keep in mind, it's weighty, but it has very thick, supple, pebbled black leather. So for this one, we're gonna do 50, five, zero. Next up, we have a Zara. This one is super cute. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. It is black faux leather. Look at how cute this is. It's like a little round purse. It is in excellent condition. It's kind of like a hard case, but then it's got the faux leather around it. Embroidered um, flowers, gold tone hardware. You can take off the handle or the strap if you just want to hold it by the handle, but that's kind of hard. So I would keep the strap on and then you can open up the sides like so. And then you have your Zara and all your your long tag <laughs> so really great condition and i think the other one works better yeah there you go so zara super cute floral and we're going to do this one for 35. next up we have um okay so this one this one i'm going to offer you guys a special deal on because I bought it with some staining, thinking that I can clean it. Now, I clean a lot of these purses. They don't just, I don't find them in this condition. Um, I do a lot of cleaning, conditioning, and all that stuff. And I thought I can get this one clean, but it didn't work out. Um, you can't really notice it but I'm gonna give you guys a really good deal on it and it comes with a matching wallet. So, hear me out. <laughs> it is a coach crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it and it has the little comfort shoulder thing. There's your adjustment. It is a fabric um, strap and uh, it has leather on it as well. It's black coach. You have the leather here that says coach. Now, you can see a little bit of the staining along the top here, just very slightly. Um, you have your pocket in the front. Everything else on it is like really, really great. You have a zipper pocket here on the back, and that's where the rest of the staining is. Can you see it all in here? Okay. I literally had this hand washed like three times with different like methods, and nothing got this clean. And then there's your creed, okay? So 
phone fits nice nice so there's the crossbody then you have the matching wallet so this one is not as stained there's just a teeny little bit right in here um, it has the black leather just like the other one it has the silver tone hardware it has a little bit of the staining back in here but other than that the leather on it is really really great so this side opens up the inside leather is a little bit damaged is a little bit stained but that's the kind of leather this is it's going to darken over time and then the other side are where all your card slots are okay so um, if anybody's interested in the set oh and it does have the hang tag if anyone's interested in the set um, I'm going to sell it for $20, okay? $20 and you get both as is. Um, it was my boo-boo that I couldn't get the stain out. So um, I think it's still great because there's really no staining on the front and no one's really gonna see the wallet. So I think it's a really great deal either way. So 20 bucks gets you both. All right, then we're gonna move on to um, these are the other two purses that are the same color, so make sure you're being very descriptive in your email and you're giving me um, a timestamp. So the first one, they're, well, they're both Lotus. The first one is a pebbled leather, like a tote, and I have sold this one before and I've sold it in brown before. Um, Lotus is a really great brand. This brand is underrated. I mean, this the leather is awesome and the bags are very well made it is a large shoulder bag you have a pocket here in the front this one is in really really excellent condition bottom and corners really great this one has the pocket in the back that you can unzip and then put um, your luggage arm through it longer shoulder straps excellent condition zipper closure silver tone hardware Sometimes I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. <laughs> um, and then the interior is a beautiful floral, very clean. Lotus with your zipper and your slips. So beautiful, 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 larger shoulder tote bag, Lotus, pebbled leather. This is the pebbled black, $45. Then we have another Lotus. It's black also leather, <clears throat> but it's not pebbled, okay? This one's a shoulder bag and it's kind of more longer than it is taller. It's beautiful. I conditioned the heck out of this one because it was so dry, but I saw the potential in it. There's your Lotus, it has gold tone hardware. Beautiful, beautiful bag. It is quite large, excellent condition, bottom and corners. Um, it has a pocket here on the front, a pocket on the back, and it's pretty large. It goes, you know, all the way back on both sides. Uh, longer, longer shoulder straps, both are in really great condition. The top is zippered, and you have one big compartment. Okay, you have Lotus everywhere. And then that's the branding, your zipper, and slips. All right, really great. Love this one. Butter, butter leather, Lotus. And this one we're going to do for $48. Now, if you want to have a matching wallet for your one of your Lotus, this is like a pebbled leather, but it's not as pebbled as the as the um, shoulder bag. See how it's like a less pebbly? So it can go great with either if you want it to matchy matchy, but this is silver tone, this one is gold tone, this one is silver tone. So if anything, this would go really great. Just saying. So this one's in like new condition, black leather, you got the Lotus up here, genuine leather here. Excellent, excellent condition, zip around. Interior is a tan leather. Like I said, it is in beautiful condition. So for the Lotus leather zip around wallet, we're gonna do this one for $20. All 
All right, so that brings us into the littles. So the next one up is, I have a Sharif wristlet. This one is faux leather. It is white um, quilted with like almost like a snake print style gold around the top. Excellent, excellent condition, faux leather wristlet, beautiful. It has like the um, reptile print kinda on this as well. Gold tone hardware. And then there's your interior, designed in New York by Sharif. And a beautiful, like tropical floral interior. Faux leather, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, wristlet by Sharif, $12. Whew, I'm gonna flip the page. <laughs> um, next one up, I have a Long Chomp blue leather passport wallet. It is so buttery soft. Long Chomp down here. Okay, you got your slots over here. It says made in France over here. You have the Long Chomp um, background. Now, I can only find two of these listed on eBay and they're listed new, um, $75 and up. That is insane. So mine's not new and I'm not charging you anywhere near $75. So I'm going to ask 25. All right, 25 for the long chomp leather um, passport holder. All right, then I have a coach key holder this is a blue Safiano leather, and you can use it as a keychain if you want, or just a card holder. You have your ID slot and some other slots, okay? And then you have the coin or cash if you fold it up on the top. So for the blue Safiano leather gold tone coach, we're gonna do this one for $16. It is in really, really nice condition. Then we have a Salvador Ferragamo wristlet. This one is the Perfume, Parfum, made in Italy. It has the like beige leather on the top, gold tone hardware wristlet. You have the little bow style that's on most of the shoes. Um, black nylon, really great condition. Cute wristlet, even if it's just, if it, even if it says perfume on it, this is really stinking cute, you guys. And everyone's gonna know it's the Salvador Ferragamo from far away because of that. So you got the little pull, it's in really great condition. And then you got the inside, here's your logo. There, it says all kinds of, um, you know, says it all. Oh no, it doesn't say it all. I thought it said it on the interior, but. No pockets or anything, you just have the flap right there. So really great on this one. There was just a little dot right there and a little dot on the other side, okay? So Salvador Ferragamo Parfum wristlet and we're gonna do this one for 18. Okay, I think that's everything. That's all the purses. So let me switch out all the purses and then I'm going to go, we'll continue with shoes, clothing, and then we will open up the America's Thrift Supply designer handbag box. Okay guys, I'm going to put on the screen one more time how to place an order in case you missed it in the beginning. Okay, so most importantly, please make sure you're checking the sold list down in the comment section. You'll be able to see if the items you're interested in are still available or not based on that list. I will have the pending payment list, which means I'm waiting on payment. Payment is pending. I sent an invoice to somebody and I'm waiting for them to pay. You can ask to be back up on that item if you would like. Okay, so let's keep going. Now I have two pairs of shoes that I'm gonna clearance out that I showed in the thread up 15 piece rescue box, 15 shoe rescue box earlier this week. Um, so the first pair up are the Zara's. So if you missed that video or if you want to catch a clearance price, now's your chance. These are a size eight, 
Zara. I do believe that they are new and they are a like a fuchsia satin mule flat and um it does have like a little bit of like black in it too okay so for the zara size eight mules we're going to lower these to only ten dollars all right guys ten bucks zara fuchsia mules then okay so i was wrong on the on the size of these the size on the bottom to me looked like a size 10, but they're not. I'm like, there's no way these are size 10. They look like they're my size. So these were the Olivia Miller black um, jelly with the gold tone studs on it, buckle sandals. They're in really great shape. They've only been worn maybe a few times. The, I would put these at a size eight and a half. Okay, because I'm an eight and they do fit me, but they are a little bit big. So I would put them at an eight and a half and they are in really great shape and we're dropping these to $10, okay? All right, now we have a pair of fit flops. So these are like the, you know, exercise while you walk fit flop. These are in a um, tan patent leather croc with the white. There is a little bit of wear on the bottoms, like on the white part, but the patent leather is really nice. And these are a size seven and they're little loafers and we're gonna do these for $15. Size seven fit flops, 15. Next up, we have a pair of brown Franco Sardo ankle boots getting into the fall cl uh, clothing and shoes, you guys, bags, everything. These are a brown faux leather, Franco Sardo with the gold tone hardware. They're in really great condition. They have a three inch heel and they are a size seven as well. They have the inner zips. Great shape, size seven, no peeling or anything on the inside. Franco Sardo, three inch heel, size seven, $15. Next up, these are my favorite. If they were in my size, I'd be all over keeping them. These are Rothy's with a Dallas hair on it. These are Rothy's um, Chelsea. They are a purple little ankle boot or, or ankle shoe. These are so stinking cute, but they're an eight and a half. Um, I love them. They're the perfect for fall. You guys know Rothy's are super duper duper expensive. Okay, really great condition. Um, I'm gonna offer them to you for $45. Um, if they don't sell, like so the shoes and clothing do not make a, an appearance on the clearance for next week. So um, one shot and then they get listed for higher because I give you guys the discounted um, pricing. So I'm offering these to you for 45, but I would be listing these on eBay for probably 60, 65, 70, somewhere around there. All right, size eight and a half, $45. Um, these are, I think these have only been worn once. They are in really, really great condition. They are a distressed leather um, ankle boot by Circle G. Uh, genuine leather, they got these nice big, uh, um, geez, zippers down the sides, perforated over here. Uh, like I said, I think they were only worn once because I do see a little bit of heel drag there, but they're super cute. They are distressed. They're supposed to look like that. They have about an inch and a half heel by Circle G. These are a size seven and we're going to do these for $28. Again, I'll probably list these somewhere around 45 if they don't sell in this video. So those are $28. 
Next up are a pair of gray <clears throat> suede Blondo booties. These are, let me see, I think these are new. Maybe worn once, maybe. These are a size nine suede, like a gray, it's more like a taupe, like a dark, dark taupe. Um, size nine suede, and then you have the zippers. The hardware is actually both gold tone and silver tone. These are Blondo, size nine, and I will do these for $25. Oops, I had them the wrong way. All right, then we have a pair of Michael Kors Saffiano leather um, flats. They have, they're red, they have the gold MK on the front. Um, they're in really great condition. I'll show you the one flaw, but they're in really great condition. Only worn maybe two or three times. This one on the outside has a little discoloration, okay, on the bottom. But other than that, they good. They are a size nine and a half. And I'm gonna do these for $25. Next up, I love these. I love these so, so much. These are by Calvin Klein. If I was still working in the office, I'd be wearing these and I would even wear it with this outfit. <laughs> so these are uh, faux leather. They have a teeny little, maybe one inch wedge. They are like a lime, like yellowy green with the black mesh and the white. They are in excellent condition. I mean, I tried them on, otherwise I don't think anyone has ever worn them. They're a size seven and a half. Um, so they do fit me, but this part here is a little tight. I have a slightly wide foot, so I would suggest if you have a wide foot that it is not going to fit properly. Um, so seven and a half, not a wide foot, beautiful, almost new um, Calvin Klein, and we're gonna do these for $18. Um, okay, so that wraps up the shoes. Let's get into the clothing. Um, so again, with the clothing, I normally do not pick up clothing. I do not sell clothing, but if I'm somewhere where I can get a really good deal on clothing and I think that it's something I could sell, I will buy it and I'll pass on the good deals to you guys. Um, otherwise, <clears throat> I normally don't pick up clothing. <laughs> with that being said, the first item is a Free People. We the Free, okay, very expensive brand. Now, you, if you guys know Free People, you'll know that they do oversized sizing. So even though this says extra small, I put this one at a large. So anywhere from extra small or to large can wear this, depending on how you like it. You would definitely need like a little cami under this, great layering piece for the fall, all right, it has the tight sleeve with the thumb hole, kind of like a um, thermal. It's gray. So like I said, um, if you like it oversized, an extra small. Otherwise, if you like it a little tighter, up to a large. And I have all the measurements. So um, armpit to armpit is 21 inches and the length is 30 inches. If you guys need help with armpit to armpit measuring, just go, get, go in your closet and get a shirt that you love the fit of, the comfortableness of the fit. Lay it flat, measure armpit to armpit under here, and you'll be able to tell what your armpit to armpit measurement is. This one is 21 inches, so we're gonna do $15 on this one, 15. All right, next up we have a um, top by Cloth and Stone, which is a really great brand quality material. This is like a chambray material. Um, it is like a really pretty blue, blue gray. It is a size large. It has buttons down the front. It's almost like a denim. That's why I say chambray, because it's like a soft denim. 
It has um, elastic on the sleeves, full button down, really, really pretty. Excellent condition, size large. This one is also 21 inches, armpit to armpit. And this one has a little bit of a high-low hem. So it's 23 inches length in the front, 26 inches length in the back. And I'm gonna do this one for $12. Next up I have, for all my Disney lovers, I have a really cute Mickey, super soft. I mean, you guys, this is so soft. It's like a beige, and it is a licensed Disney, size extra large. And it is a lightweight sweatshirt. All right, beautiful. Like I said, super duper soft. This one is an extra large, so it's 24 inches across so if you are a large and you like it a little bit baggy this is fine too but it's an extra large so it's 24 inches across the armpit and 25 inches length and it's $15 okay we're gonna flip the page one more time guys <laughs> next up we have a brand new with tag um, forever 21 little uh, kim like kimono open cardigan with the tassel closure it is gray it's a lightweight great le layering piece for the fall um, it is a size small okay it's in excellent condition super cute does it have pockets no so this one measures 16 inches across the armpit and 37 inches length and I'm gonna do this one for $10 all right, super cute. Next up, this is my favorite. This one is marked as, <laughs> I don't get the sizing today, I really don't. This is marked extra small to small, but I'm a large and it fits me. So this is by Gentle Fawn. It is a poncho. It is new with tags, if I can find it here. New with tags, so again, guys, makes a great gift. New with tags, all right? It's pink, it's beautiful, it's got these little, like, trying, uh, diamond shapes and dot dashes all over it. So it does have armholes, okay? Let me see if I can back up and, and try this on. <sighs> Bear with me, guys. Okay. It has the tassels on the bottom. There we go. So I'm a large, and this fits me. I mean, extra large can fit in this. Double XL can probably fit in this, okay? It is very, very big. It is marked lar um, small, extra small to small, though. All right, I mean, it matches my nails. It is very very cute okay new with tag adorable i mean i really like it okay so this one's by gentle fawn it's a 35 inch length and like i said it can fit up to probably a 2xl depending on how you like it to fit and we're going to do this one for $18, okay? All right, then we have, I'm just going to stay here because it's easier for me to hold everything up <laughs> a little farther away. So next up we have, now this one was new with the tag, but I accidentally, the tag accidentally came off. So it is technically new with tag. This one is by Aerie which is Aeropostale. The tag is right here. I just slipped it behind the um, interior tag. It is an oversized pink striped um, sweater. You can wear it as a turtleneck or this is like a neon orange or you can unzip it and wear it like that. 
Okay, so new with tag. Um, this one is a size large. Wait, yeah. But I would, I would say large to extra large could fit this because it is oversized. It's 27 inches armpit to armpit and 27 inches length, okay? So large to extra large, $18. All right, then we have, this is also, this is something that I would have worn to the office. I love this kind of stuff. This is so cool. It is vintage. There are no tags on this. There are shoulder pads, but you can cut them out. Look at this. Isn't this just so cool? Okay, it's black with the red and the gold. Um, and then look at the buttons. They're black with a rhinestone. And then there's the back. Oh, I just love this so much. Love, love, love it. It buttons all the way down. Um, there's no tags whatsoever. Not even, it's like, a, it's like a polyester silk. It's not silk, but that's what it, it reminds me of, okay? Um, so this one I would put at a large based on the measurements. The measurements are 22 inches across and 28 inches long. Button down, beautiful vintage top with shoulder pads. Oh, this is, I love this so much. Um, $18 on this one. All right, now I have something very special. I don't know if you can see it, probably not on the side here. Um, this might be, maybe too long for some people. It is a size 44 long, but I'm gonna show it anyway because I want to offer it to you guys before I list it. It is a Burberry, vintage Burberries. That's what it was when it was vintage. Uh, vintage Burberry trench. Oh geez, I can't even lift it up all the way. So it's like a, um, like a greenish color and size 44 long and I would put this at a size extra large, okay? So you have the, the buttons, this is, I buttoned it up. So it has the double breast, but you can um, button it the other way too. It has both both, so you can button it from this side too. You get what I mean? All right, it has pockets and the button. This side has your size in it. Okay. There's the back. You have the belt. You have this little flare out, okay? It is absolutely gorgeous. There are two small marks on the back. It's like right at the butt. Oh, three, hold on. So one, two, and then three. But it's all the way down here. Um, if you want to see pictures or, you know, I tried it on and it's huge on me. So it's really long and really big. I, you know, that's not going to fit me. This might be a men's. I don't know. But I have the measurements. It's a little bit faded on the inside. So the measurements when it's buttoned is 25 inches armpit to armpit, 50 inch length. And the sleeves are 28 inches. The sleeves are very long. There might be another mark right there. I did wash it. Um, the sleeves are very long, so just keep that in mind. So 25 inches across, buttoned. 50 inch length, 28 inch long sleeves. And I'm gonna ask $100 for it. All right, these are going for 150 and up online.
Love it. All right. Whew. Let me bring you guys back in a little bit because now we're going to open the thread. I mean, she's America's Thrift Supply Box. Now, I cannot even remember when the last time was that I got this America's Thrift Supply designer box because this is one or two purses for $44.99, okay? I do still have my code. Kristen, type that in at checkout for the promo code. You will save 15% on any all of your purchases through the end of the year. Um, so again, this one is $44.99 and it says that you are guaranteed one to two designer purses. The other one that I get, the five piece, is five piece branded purses. Jeez Louise. All right, is this the, yeah, so... Um, I used my own 15% off code because that's all I get from it, just using my own code. Um, plus shipping makes it $48.24. So let's see if this is worth it. All right, so unfortunately I only see one in here. So this might be kind of rough because at $48, would I have bought this at the thrift store? I can already tell you the answer is no. Even though it might be in great shape, $48 is a huge buy-in cost. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, it's a coach, obviously. It is in good shape, which I think that they're, they're supposed to be. There's a little bit of a stain over here, which I'm going to try to get out. And right here, it has the leather um, top strap, which I think you can release and make it into a crossbody. You have your hang tag. So it is a little bit discolored along the top, so I will try to completely hand wash this. Um, Oh my gosh, there's like sugar or something down in here. I don't want to spill it. That's all sugar or salt or something. Anyway, I'm going to zip that up right back up. It's a zipper closure and then the inside's really nice. Okay. I mean, for $48, it better be, right? Hmm. But I wanted to try this box because I haven't gotten it in a really long time and you can get more than one. But as you can see, I only got one. You have your zip and slips on there. So overall, it's in really great shape. I will clean it up. I will clean it up. But I mean, how much, how much can I ask for this? You know what I mean? I can really only ask 45, 48, 50. That's a stretch, I think. So, um, I'm gonna clean it. I would only, normally, I would only charge probably about $45 for this, but because I have to at least make my money back and I'm putting my work and time into cleaning it, I'm going to ask 50. Um, and if the stains don't come out, I'm not going to sell it because I'm going to write them a message. <laughs> so I'm not upset with the bag itself. I'm just kind of disappointed that I paid $48.24 for this. And I would never do that in a thrift store or boutique consignment, nothing. So, all right, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys thought. Have you guys tried the America's Thrift Supply designer box? I think from now on, I'm gonna stick with the five piece brand name. Um, I did get two of those boxes recently and I still have, 
I think a, I think I got a designer one, a thread up designer in the mail. So keep a lookout next week for some bonus video days. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to put the instructions up on the screen one more time. So make sure you guys are able to pay within my 48 hour payment policy. That is very important. Um, the, you know, the faster you pay, the faster I ship. And thank you so much to the customers of mine that pay. Literally, when that PayPal invoice hits your email, you send that payment. I love you guys for that, for, you know, just being on top of everything and being fair. So I really appreciate that. Um, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Um, I will put the link to the tub of towels down in the description box and also different places you can find me, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I did uh, revamp my LinkedIn. Um, I also have channel memberships you can check out and I have a free weekly newsletter that if you sign up, it gets delivered to your email inbox every Monday morning. And that is just chock full of different things to help start your week off on the right foot and it also will alert you of you know special events on my youtube so thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one